You're listening to This Week in America with Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America. Talking about an excellent new book that will create your success towards unusual process of practicable professional architecture practice. It's called PPAP. The author is a fellow architect with an impressive career spanning 47 years. She supported a number of firms as they designed and built many buildings in the United States. Her name is Kalavati Sombanshi, F-A-I-A. Kala, welcome to the program. First, I want to congratulate you on your selection to the College of Fellows. This I know is one of your proudest significant achievements. Ask you what this honor means to you. Thank you. Uh, Let me explain this. Fellowship acknowledges one's effort to succeed, advocate, and formalize the extraordinary results of built projects and develop the competencies of the firms. As a fellow, I have motivated to advance professional practice by helping and consulting um, with upcoming progressive architects and developing their understanding of the culture as part of their working process. As a result of the fellowship status, first, the book noted above should support consultation towards professional architecture practice. And once again, congratulations. This is such a significant honor for you. Kamala's 47 years of work experience has produced a full range of skills in architecture, interior design, the construction, execution, and site supervision. Her methodology management style seeks to compel others to reach their full potential and to strive for a high degree of consensus through all project phases. Her enthusiasm, collaborative style, and instrumental training has emboldened many junior colleagues, several of whom have gone on to become partners in firms all while developing the competency of the firms in which she practiced. So now I will ask our guest on the program, the author, Alavade Samanchi, FAIA, to explain her successful practice and her projects, because the book, which we'll talk about soon with its purpose and details, is a starting result of the practicable professional architecture practice, PPAP. Kala, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Sure, thank you. I was graduated from Sir J.J. College of Architecture, University of Bombay, India, initially. My successful graduation after achieving B.Arch and G.D.Arch degree as first class first as, uh, aspect was published in 22 newspapers at that time in India. Now, I will present my professional career practicing results and learning and training many staff and contractors as a result. It exposed me towards the elevation to be a college, college of fellow. Here I am to explain the great architectural style and learning process to let you know all, if I may. Now, I believe that all great architecture starts with the conceptual idea of the building in its unadulterated form and the process of creating the building from concept through completion must remain true to the design concept as well as adhere to pragmatic building construction restraints and methods. My leadership, management, and site supervision as a senior associate and sometimes an associate in firms have helped to create some of the most distinctive and award-winning architectural projects in New York, Los Angeles, Boston, Minneapolis, Winnipeg, Canada, and in London as well. I have so far created my speech uh, about my inclusion views of architectural practice, but further, we could talk about advocacy through public lecture symposia. From 1997 to 2001, I served on the board of directors of Society of Indo-American Engineers and Architects, SIAEA, New York, New York, in order to support and advocate 
working process of junior architects. On March 4, 2016, I was invited to give a lecture to Sir JJ College of Architecture in Mumbai, India. And also on February 29, 2016, to the Architects and Engineers Association in Nasik about my inclusive views of architectural practice with a compelling presentation and my recent projects in USA. That's what I showed them. Now my during, sorry, during both lectures in India, I have used a concept of accelerating um, architects approach towards award-winning design and the professional stability during all phases showing my built buildings as part of the firms. I am representing some past projects as a way of highlighting, further explaining those general theories and uh, would show potential buyers of the book to know what I'm talking about, not as simply my proudest achievement. I am introducing the outline book in more detail, keeping it in general enough later after my projects are reviewed and shown to you quickly right now. Based on the professional practice signature projects are, my record of work includes several signature projects for well-known firms. These projects include the Los Angeles Central Library, Cleveland Public Library, Rose Center for Earth and Space at the American Museum of Natural History, and Frank Sinatra High School of the Arts. Over the years, these some projects, same projects, sorry, received many design awards from a range of many related sources. AIA, Design Excellence, Architectural Record, The Merit Award, AIA, ALA, um, Building Hall of Fame, Interior Magazine, and Natural uh, National Design. Numerous newspapers, food, magazines, and books have featured these projects. In each case, the surrounding neighborhood community supported these projects mostly because the projects helped enhancing the social, environmental, and economic importance of their cities. My multidimensional roles supporting my strategic management approach extend far beyond traditional management practice. Repeatedly, I have succeeded in engaging city agency professionals, advocating for and educating project teams, and establishing new pragmatic guidelines. For example, to clarify and expedite, expedite complex design programs, I compiled a role's task description document that included health food guidelines, team organization charts, and drawing standard requirements lists. The best practices have been implemented numerous times to aid initial design excellence processes to achieve successful document submission, to adhere to planned construction technology, and to enhance the process of cooperation among firm partners, employees, consultants, and contractors. Now, subcontractors understood the projects with my mentorship to them. And this is an example that I might just mention to you. Cleveland Public Library, the Agati, Chicago, Illinois, subcontractors recommendation letter regarding my magnificent design and mentoring towards their production of the reception desktops. It was the creation of the desktop of the library in 1994. 
बेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स फेस वन ग्लैडिंग मकबीन लिंकल कैलिफोर्निया सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स रिकमेंडेशन लेटर रिगार्डिंग माय मैग्निफिसेंट डिजाइन मेंटरिंग टूवर्ड्स देयर प्राउडेस्ट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द थेराकाडा कॉर्निस एंड बेस moldings profiles and units i really worked on it very much participation facilitating professional enhancement and design excellence are shown in the book now so if somebody sees the pages 8 content in the book also showing the advancement of the professional status of the firms and design excellence expertise to realize realistic construction approach and leadership to mentor subcontractors and the staff it's noted on page 9 in the book the um, now i worked with the following firms if you would like to know quickly um i'm just mentioning their names yes please do heroes kuriana kuriana wala and associates and Gregson Bradley King Architects in Bombay India Chamberlain Powell and Bond Architects London United Kingdom Gabriel Lucier Zigerson Venables Architects in Manitoba Canada for one year Sarah Leach and Lindstrom Architects and Engineers Minneapolis in Minnesota for 9 years Edward Durrell Stone Associates in New York for 6 years Hardy Holtzman Pfeiffer Associates in New York as well as in Los Angeles for total 10 years Mishrayan Associates in New York for 15 months in between in fact they wanted me to connect with them all the time and the last one that I worked with is NER Architects their previous name was Polshek Partnership Architects LLP New York New York for almost 15 years and my current work if we have the time yes let's do that and before you start that let me just say if you're just listening to the program our guest is Kalavati Somvanchi F A I A Her book is Practicable Professional Architecture Practice. All the information available at her website, which is ppaparchitecture.com. Again, ppaparchitecture.com. You can link on to our website thisweekinamerica.us and get full information on Kala and her book Practicable Professional Architecture Practice. Kala, please tell us about the current work that you're involved in. the current work i'm involved in is actually um applying strategic management methodology to architecture practice as a leader and a principal at somwanchi architecture pc i am producing this book which you mentioned actually and nowadays i'm actually attending uh, many ai fellows as well as the AIA architects and some firms even in Rhode Island as well and uh, in between what they do is they ask me some questions about their project so as a fellow it is important to forward and um let other architects go forward quickly and successful which is actually my decision first and um, elevation to the college of fellows the book has the first result which i always intended to do even i had written in the fellowship submission that i will be writing the book um to expose many architects graduated college architects or new firms who start with their projects and they don't necessarily know all the practices at each 
locations, feasibility study, a request for proposal, schematic design, interior design, and then design development, construction documents, and RF request for um, contractors as well, and then bidding process, and finally site supervision is important for, by the architects who do that which I have done on all projects. So if I can mention the um, type of uh, project that we had started, we could. Yes, please do. Yes. Um, the only thing that I want to mention is there is a preface summary on the book, which is page numbers 10 and 11. And um, the items that I just mentioned are explained more on those pages. Okay, thank you. So here are the projects that I have done, starting with the last project. Frank Sinatra School of the Arts, Astoria, Queens, with NER Architects. High School for Law and Public Safety at South Jamaica, New York, with Polshik Partnership Architects. The Rose Center for Earth and Space at the American Museum of Natural History in Manhattan, with Polshik Partnership Architects. Los Angeles Central Library, Los Angeles, with um, Hardy Osman Pfeiffer Associates, which I worked. Cleveland Public Library, as well, is with Hardy Osman Pfeiffer, Vassar College Library, Thompson uh, Memorial Hall in uh, New York, upstate, um, with Hardy Holzman Pfeiffer, Marcy Houses, Brooklyn, in New York, with Mishra and Associates, uh, which is actually general um, site in impression. The, Nash, the National Museum of Korea Seoul competition submission. It was just submitted and Mishra, with Mishra and Associates. And um, it was exposed, but at the same time, somebody else uh, received that result. Best products, corporation, phase one, including master planning of phases one to three with Hardy Holzman Pfeiffer, Sci Center, Hayden Hall, Boston University in uh, Massachusetts with Hardy Holzman Pfeiffer, and Museum Tower Condominium above Museum of Modern Art in Manhattan, New York with Edward Durrell Stone Associates, the New York City Technical College in New York, Edward Durrell Stone Associates, City Hall, City of Ramsey, in Ramsey, Minnesota, with Sarah Leach and Lindstrom, Wellborn Clinic, Evansville, Indiana, Sarah Leach and Lindstrom, with them, Student Health Center, University of Minnesota, also with Sarah Leach and Lindstrom, and um, there a few more. Northwestern Bell Telephone Company, four projects I have done in Minnesota with several Legion Instrum. New Chapel, St. Boniface, Manitoba, Canada with Gabri, Lucier, Ziggerson, Venables Architects in Manitoba, Canada. Barbican Re Residential Redevelopment London in the United Kingdom with Chamberlain, Powell and Bond Architects in London, United Kingdom, of course. And Food Factory and Office Building for Corn Products in Bombay, India. Um, that was almost the first time I was graduated. And also in another uh, firm, Gregson Batley King, I used to do 3D drawings and project design. And at that time I told them, 
I have to go to the site and see it. So, here we are. What a very impressive career, and this book is really so well done. It's insightful. It will be so helpful. Uh, Kalavati Sambanchi, FAIA, our guest on the program. A few minutes left in the show. Let's talk about where the book is available. I know there are several outlets for the book, and we'll give the website again so people know that they can go to our website, This Week in America, dot .us, sure. and, and link on directly to your website. Where are some of the places, the, uh, the who's publishing the book, and where is it available? It's uh, Book Art Press in uh, New York. And I have their address and also all the other information. The address is 30 Wall Street, 8th floor, New York, New York. The other one is Westward Book Publisher, and they are in Los Angeles, California. The other one, first one that I started with, Ex Libris, as we know, and their phone number and address is with me. The address is 1663 Liberty Drive, Bloomberg, Indiana, etc. Uh, the only thing is the price that they have created because they are doing the book with the glossy papers inside. It's a beautiful book. The um, pricing is higher. And it is, like you say, a beautifully book. It's so well done, no matter which publisher you you purchase it from. And again, you can get information on the purchaser of the book by talking to, by going to uh, Kala's website. Once again, our guest on the program, Kalavati Somfanchi, F-A-I-A. The spelling is K-A-L-A-V-A-T-I. And the last name, Somfanchi, is S O M. B-A-N-S-H-I. You can go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and link on directly to Kala's website. The book is Practicable Professional Architecture Practice. Her website is very simple. The name of the book, ppaparchitecture.com. Kala, it has been a pleasure to have you on the program. Once again, congratulations on the selection to the College of Fellows. A, a The highlight has to be a, a, of your career. What a distinction to be awarded that. It's been a pleasure working with you, having you on the program. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. I was glad to work with you. Well, I appreciate you sharing the time and information with everybody. All of these years, over 40 cents at all, encapsulated in the book, Practicable Professional Architecture Practice, Kalavati Sompanchi, FAIA, our guest on the program. And once again, you can link on directly to Kala's website, get information on her and the book by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back on today's program after these messages. <laughs> 